Morning guys. <laughs> I am out on the mythical unicorn. The Sherman. So I managed to uh, get a ride on the Sherman and um, there's not going to be a review or anything. I think there's sort of enough reviews out on the internet. Um, this is just going to be um, feedback. Um, first impressions um, from myself. I've seen so many videos about the Sherman. I have um, really sort of looked in detail at them. So I sort of do understand um, what the wheel is about. And you, if you want all the specs and stuff, you can um, go to Speedy Feet. Um, it's all on the website. It's all over the forums. Um, but yeah, so this is just going to be um, feedback, how it feels for me coming from an S18, either M Super V3, uh, M103. <laughs> so um, this is just going to be get on the wheel, how it feels compared to um, the other wheels I've ridden. Um, just firstly, um, I just live around the corner and I just got on the wheel just just wheeling it out um, from the from the garage it's uh, if it's not on it's a it's all over the place you know it's it's it sort of swings and it wants to fall and whatever but uh, it's it's uh, just just doing this ride cruising at 20 25 miles an hour <laughs> it's 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 like it's on a rail it's it's really nice um, I took it out the other night just to uh, ride around the, the street and um, it's uh, ag again you know because it's such a weighty wheel compared to the S18 and when you turn in it sort of really turns in and and you need to just um, adapt you know it, it, it just feels different it's a, it, it's a different riding beast um, but I want to just quickly show you around the wheel before we get started. It is, firstly, it is minus one this morning. It's misty, so it's perfect to go with the, the unicorn wheel of 2020, I think. Um, and uh, yeah, let's have a look around the wheel. The sun is just, or whatever you can call it, I think there's sun far, far away. <laughs> but it's coming through and it gives a nice glow on the wheel. But... Uh, just look at that light. I was riding in the dark as well. It was pitch dark. There was no moon or anything. And the light just throws a nice wide beam and then a solid beam on the inside. It's really nice. But look at it. It's a Land Rover. This one has got the mud guard installed. And I think you need to have that, especially here in the UK. Just going to show you a little bit at the back. At the back, you've got the two charge ports, that little cable that you can unplug and then replace the light. Such a good idea to be um, to be able to just uh, modular design. If something goes wrong and it breaks off or the light goes faulty, you just um, unplug it and plug it back in, new one. And you can also adjust the angle of it. So if you have a look at the rear, there's uh, two screws on both sides, nice and easy. And it's also uh, add-on keys, sweet. Little vent at the back as well. There's the mud guard. The mud guard is humongous for this humongous wheel. And the funny thing is, I actually thought that this is a a square tire, like the what was it the big um is the m super pro i thought it's a very square tire so in the middle it's flat but this tire is is round so you can see the profile i'm just going to switch the wheel off but just that's the profile of the tire so it's round so it doesn't run um i thought it's going to be very what do you call it? Very, uh, very f flat and sluggish on the road. 
but it's not. But just look at just look at the, the, the tire. Look at the knobby profile. That's that tread will probably last you forever. Well, it depends on how soft it it is. But look at the high profile. Now I'm gonna go down to the canal. There's a spot that I can actually get in and ride a bit of mud. But because it's not my wheel, I'm not gonna do it. I'm gonna go into deep mud or whatever. I don't wanna really fall with this wheel. So just moving to the rear of the wheel again. There's a really a nice gap on both sides. Now I, I look at these things for, uh, for riding in the UK and uh, mud getting stuck in there. And uh, you know the guys were complaining about the lower, not complaining, but mentioning about the lower foot pegs or the foot plates. Um, again, for most of my riding, if it's if it's normal flat trail riding or road riding, this is perfectly fine. Now I tried to scrape the the um, foot plates a few times, and you really need to turn very sharp to actually um, scrape the foot pedals. But then again, it's this is just my feedback really from I haven't spent an awful lot of time as this is probably going to be the longest ride I've done on it so it's uh, only spent like 15 minutes on it oh the other thing that I want to mention is um, when the foot plates fold in there's no place to really get it out um, I've, I've seen the guys install something yeah that you can step on and it actually unfolds but you see there's now no way to you see there's a little bit of a Weird thing, but it folds away nice and neat. But nice uh, thicker pad pedals, you know those, um, um, this like a plastic type pedal, be quite nice. And then moving to the top of the wheel. Now, you know the LCD screen is for me a massive win. To not have to look at an app to get out of your pocket and then unlock with face ID or fingerprint and take a glove off. To be able to um, look down, get a clear uh, LCD screen, that's a massive win. Um, it's nice and clear. Look at it. And it boots up quickly, man. It's not, it's, it's, it's almost instant. Distance, I've set it to medium. Um, like the lights this is the one with the blue lights as well super illegal here in the uk <laughs> so we won't be trying that um but yeah look at it it's just like and really nice and easy and there you can also see the front light the front light is also modular let's go to the side here it's also got the little vent there at the back the plug and then this uh, light and man the light really works well um the s18 has got a okay <laughs> super okay light compared to this thing so the trolley handle this is just absolutely awesome it's nice and level press the button it comes up and then you just lift it up and it's nice and solid it's a nice height nice solid but yeah let me get going this side of the wheel this is some really nice speedy feet um like sticker not seen that on their website but yeah so let's get going but look at this man it's a proper beast. Okay, so I'm cruising at around uh, 20 miles, 18, 20 miles an hour and uh, it's 15 now. Yeah, super solid. Morning. Just be careful because it's uh, the roads are a bit icy. But um, I must say the wheel is, is very solid. And yes, this thing can you can go go super amount of miles on this thing. This 
is like a really a mythical beast. This is the appropriate weather. It's misty, it's foggy. It's uh, riding this wheel. I must say, uh, it's uh, it's solid. But the thing is, um, as all these wheels are, you know, um, each wheel has got a different a different uh, market, I think. Where, uh, whoa, whoa. <laughs> where you uh, you have a lighter wheel um, that you can do trail riding on, uh, or you have a heavier wheel where you can really cover like really good distance. The thing is, I was saying to uh, I was saying to Ian, you know. Uh, if I had a wheel like this, and uh, here in the UK it's like uh, Marty, where in the uh, Southern California, where you can uh, ride without any issues, well, potential issues. You know, I've not had any issues, but uh, there's also the there's always the possibility that someone might go like, oh, I, you know, I don't particularly like that. But I saw my jacket. <laughs> I don't particularly like what you're doing because I, I don't have that wheel so uh, now I'm going to report you to the police and then we're going we're gonna to confiscate the wheel come on man so um, it's just that potential issue but if I had no issues where I could just get on the wheel and ride I'll probably not have a motorbike Um, just because this thing's range from what I've seen is phenomenal and uh, and you can pretty much for where I ride I can pretty much do most of the same type of riding around where I live so uh, really good fun but I think if you want to do trail riding like mountain bike trails and stuff. Now, I don't think, well, I'm not saying you can't do it. Well, there's squirrel. Um, I'm not saying you can't do trail riding on this wheel. You could probably do it. But uh, if you want like nice nimble stuff and suspension and less weight on uh, really uh, mountain bike trails where it's really up and down, um, like the S18 is a, a much better option in my opinion um, just because again it's a little bit higher it's not a not a big thing for for me because if you can't see a, a rock and you ride into it then uh, it's it's same thing applied to mountain biking you get pedal clip on a mountain bike as well and the bottom bracket and the pedals is quite high as well that's an alarm going off so uh, yeah so uh, you're gonna you're gonna get pedal clip if you doesn't matter where you ride and how low or high the pedals is you just need to uh, learn to ride with the wheel that you've got I think and, and the pedals on this thing is not very low. It's not. Uh, I did uh, trail riding on the M103, and it's uh, <laughs> it can be done. So it's uh, it's all about how you ride it. The S18 will make it easier. It's the same as uh, sort of buying a, a uh, really expensive mountain bike that's got like a, a downhill bike compared to a cross country bike different applications different uh, amount of money you're gonna spend so uh, yeah you need to adapt your riding or buy the wheel that's or have a range of wheels I did a lot of kite surfing and uh, it's very hard to find one kite that can do everything I ended up flying a uh, Cabrina crossbows and just because they got a massive range of depowering and power um, but it's not the best surfing kite. 
Oh. Curb drop. Um, it's not the best uh, uh, wave riding kite. It's not the best jumping kite. But it covers, for what I do, it covers such a wide range. Massive, massive thumbs up. And this is the same with the wheels. You know, you can all have different wheels to cover everything you're doing. Or you can have, uh, choose one wheel and uh, be happy with that. So I'm here by the canal now. Oh man, it's super muddy. The other thing that I find with this tire, or this wheel, or the diameter of the tire, it's large. And uh, it, might, it makes uh, riding you know, more comfortable. The bigger the wheel, <coughs> but uh, yeah, the bigger the wheel, the more comfort. But, you know, um, you can go to a certain size and then I think it's, it's, uh, it's that sort of like a pivot point where you get to a size that is like an, it's big and uh, then other problems creep, creep up where you can't slow down, um, you can't speed up quick enough and uh, it becomes a little bit cumbersome to turn. So you have to, there's this niche, well no, not niche, but this this nice in-between uh, spot. And I think this is where the Sherman comes in. So for people that want to do like really nice long distance riding um, and do some uh, like trail riding, it's not trail riding, but it's gravel uh, fire track riding. This thing is, uh, this is why it's been uh, uh, really said to be one of the best wheels for for 2020. To be honest, it's really cool, man. It's uh, it's super nice to be able to eventually ride this wheel. Uh, it would be nice to have uh, drier weather, just a tiny bit. I'm just going to go down here and then I'm going to turn around because uh, if it's too muddy, it's not fun. And this is the other thing. If it's too heavy, then it uh, becomes a little bit of a problem to control as well. I was watching uh, Marty's uh, videos last night where he, uh, where he was going through the snow. And you can see, you know, the wheel is, it's got a lot of power and it wants to uh, go. And uh, if it's slippery, then it's, uh, it's not fun. So yeah, this is for me. I'm going to turn around and I'll show you. Look at that. Nah, <laughs> not this morning. The other thing is, um, this wheel will also be uh, really good with some uh, side pads or power pads, uh, boost pads, whatever you want to call it because um, you can, you really need to lean into it and because it's so smooth on the sides, it would be nice to lean into something. Um, even the S18 has got a nice, uh, well, a little bit of a ridge, so you can le really lean into it. Um, I don't have pads on it. Um, I, I, don't, I haven't really needed pads because I like the wheel to be moving between my legs. Um, I've really, really clamped the wheel between my legs. Um, I like to sort of, be able to step on each side of the pedal and move the wheel uh, between my legs. So uh, yeah, but some sort of a pad where you can we can have a little bit of a grip, or even um, or even have uh, like sort of like grip tape or, or like a just a thick neoprene uh, outside. That will also be cool. You know, cruising at 25 miles an hour, this thing is like rock solid. It's like, it's, 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 uh, it's sort of weird. Um, yes, the S18 is also, uh, so many cars on the road. It's like eight o'clock in the morning. Um, yeah, it's rock solid. It's really rock solid. And um, the other thing is, um, this, 
this specific wheel has got a wobble in the tire that everyone is talking about that it uh, affects the tire I can't feel nothing you know, if I ride my S18 compared to this it's a uh, I think it, it, it's the it's a specific tire that might have an issue but it doesn't affect the ride I can't feel that it that it wobbles it's it's a uh, so it's a non-starter really for me I really really look down in any case to really bug me uh, I think if you uh, deflate the tire and massage it a bit it might be better but it doesn't affect the riding it's not a big thing Woo. The tire is awesome I love the sound yeah cool my eyebrows are frozen <laughs> But you need to be aware, you need to be awake. If there's a pothole, uh, the bigger tire does help, but you need to uh, brace the knees, to take the impact. Um, but yeah, oh, the other thing is um, it's very comfortable to ride and easy, you know, uh, because it's so high and flat on the side, because of the weight to, uh, take your one foot off you know I can really just take my one foot off and put my one foot on it's almost like it's got two wheels <laughs> so uh, balancing it is is much easier first time sitting super easy <laughs> I'm not a, uh, I'm not super tall, so five uh, eleven. But uh, moving your feet a little bit forward, putting your bum down at the back, awesome. And then the thing is, you've got the grab handle in the front or the or the crash bar to just uh, hold on to. <laughs> this is this is brilliant. Listen to that tire. I hope you can hear it. That's. Uh, Eight miles an hour. Vive, la vida solo es una y es lo que el corazón pide. Esta noche te vienes conmigo pa' que no la olvides. Sentaditas en la arena. Sirena, esta noche somos tú y yo. Dale rumbo, mami, con esa guri dueña del party. Yo sé que tú estás puesta para mí. Somos dos animales en esta safari. Yeah. Que la vibra suba y vive tu manera. Tú eres para mí, eh, yo soy para ti. Eh, vámonos de aquí, que estamos los dos. Vive, la vida solo es una y es lo que el corazón pide. Esta noche te vienes conmigo, ¿por qué no lo olvides? Siento de que se la ven y tú bailando me siré. Esta noche es una.
But uh, yeah, if, you, if you've got the money and you want a wheel that uh, can pretty much do everything, um, you know, that mid range, super distant, some really nice fire track, trail riding, comfortable riding, seated riding, solid trolley handle. Uh, LCD screen. <laughs> it's, just, <laughs> it's all these massive plus points. It doesn't look like there's bearing issues. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know, guys. I don't know what to say. All I can say is, uh, yeah, go out and buy it. <laughs> because it's uh, especially the, the I think of the guys in the US where they've got like really long distance riding <laughs> long distance riding you can't go wrong with this thing man you can't go wrong it's so refreshing to be able to look down and see your speed and your battery yeah. Okay, I need to get some coffee. And I need to get some need to get some food in the body. I'm starving. But guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. I tried to make it uh, 15 minute videos. I can't. Talk too much nonsense. Way too much nonsense. <laughs> I'm gonna try and uh, cut it down to 15 minutes but at this, this is already four minutes <laughs> so uh, I hope you enjoyed the video I hope it helps someone out there please subscribe like subscribe share share the love so I can grow the channel but uh, if you want a Sherman go and uh, speak to Speedy Feet they can sort you out and uh, or any other wheels to be honest they get that uh, two-year warranty. That's super nice. And also the buyback. That's really nice. Uh, but yeah, check them out. And I'll see you on the next video. Thanks for joining me. Ciao. Woo!